The funeral director has them for three days. We have them forever. You know, the monument company sells them a monument. He sees them for 15 minutes, sells them a monument. We have that monument forever. Now we're locked in. You go over the fence, wait till morning, or do you depend on a nice man with a cake. I've been here since August of 1967, some better than 44 years ago. I've been actually living on the ground since 1977. If I go out my front door, I'm, I'm in the city streets. If I go out my back door, I'm in the cemetery. After dark, it turns into a whole different place here. It is pitch black. You don't see anything. Um, you could be standing right next to me or a foot away from me, and I wouldn't know it. It's that dark. How are you doing? How you doing? I hope I'm not in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> see you later. I told him I was probably kidding. <laughs> in the 70s, we had, we had some incidents of vandalism. We took it serious and we hired 24-hour security, and those men drove around with an attack dog in the back seat, and they carried a sidearm and a shotgun, and they made a lot of arrests. And then the neighborhood changed, and, and, and America changed. You don't see kids hanging out in the pizzeria or the street corner or the schoolyard anymore. They're all home playing Nintendo or Wii or whatever the newest game is, or on a computer and texting, and um, they're not out running around on their own and push over the tombstone in the cemeteries. That's just not happening. We, we used to um, increase our patrols around Halloween. We still do, um, just to play it safe, but it, it's never any problem. We got a, a grave for my mom and dad, and my brother and his wife will be on one side, and me and my wife will be on the other side. Well, when you've got to go horizontal, this is the place to be. That's if I ever die. I don't plan on dying. <laughs>